How are you doing? Hi. I am Kelly Tavares. I'm a tour guide here in Rio. And I'd like to know from you if you can hear me well now. How is the sound quality? Today we are, I'm going to present to you one of the suspended gardens of the city center of Rio de Janeiro, talking a little bit about tropical gardens and their importance, but within also a very nice landscape, aesthetics, uh, site, historic, cultural, and artistic place here, one of the most visited attractions in the city. And so I'm going to have and lead this short 20 minutes uh, tour in the Celadon Steps and its suspended gardens, focusing today not in the street art, but in the plants on the top of it. So uh, I'd like to hear from you, Sam, if you can hear me well. Your feedback is very important because then I will be able to make sure that I will deliver the best product possible such as offering you this high-speed connection with the best image without being pixelated and also the best audio possible. So I count with you uh, to say and guide me through around saying about the quality of the, the image and the sound as well. So I can move around, test and retest in order to offer the best. We are, we are scheduled to start in uh, about six minutes. And I hope more people join. There are many offers going on in Hego at, at this moment. So that's why I scheduled this like just fast um, 20 minutes experience. So I can give you an idea of the website, the site where I am now and give you tips and so you can give me suggestions of what would you like to see and check while we wait for to start i'm going to share with you some of the things that happen in this site where we are while we wait and i wait for your feedback sam we can see some people like dancing or a little bit of the housings around this place and what you see here now it's just a tiny bit of something bigger that I'm going to share when the sure that this tour starts. Hello, Lizzie. Thanks for joining. We are here in the city center of Rio. And this site that we are showcasing is one of the top visitor attractions in the city. Now, it became a cultural site where visitors, locals and from abroad come from all over the world to come make their productions, video clips, uh, TikTok videos, and play videos and so on in order to showcase their own social media and their talents and gifts to the world, such as myself, Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in the city, sharing a little bit of my town with you. And uh, I did this framing here just uh, to show a tiny bit of what we are gonna share today. We'll frame and reframe to give you 20 minutes, 25 minutes, almost that, of showcasing one of the places where I live and where I live and give tours, live tours and walking tours with tourism and culture and street art in Rio de Janeiro. Hi, Gail. Thanks for joining. I'm going to switch the camera back. I am Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in Rio, and I'm now sitting down at one of the masterpieces of Celeron, Chilean artist who lived and built a work of art in the core of the Bohemian neighborhood of Rio de Janeiro. And the Bohemian in the sense of uh, nightlife, nightlife people, musicians, artists, and where we have a lot of cultural centers, concert halls, nightclubs, bars, and restaurants. And fortunately, the place where I live as well. 
Hello, Pixie. Thanks for joining the experience. Uh, how many of you here are new to Hego channel? I, how, where are you coming from? How are you feeling today? Can you hear me? Devon, England. Oh, cool. I've gotten close to Devon Pixie. I was, uh, I traveled all over England because uh, I was doing a research there and building connections. Oh, okay, Gail. Yes, you was near DC, Washington, DC. Cool. I've lived in Oregon and in the very west coast where I traveled, but mainly I was there as a student at the University of Oregon. And I'm going to share one cool thing about uh, one tile from my um, state there in the US. Maybe if I find one about Washington here, I will also share it on me. Now, uh, how many of you, uh, so you've entered the tour, you've joined the tour that we'll talk about tropical gardens in Rio de Janeiro. And it's going to be just like a, a taste of suspended gardens, uh, tropical gardens, ecosystems in the city in a touristic spot. So you can learn something about nature, but also about art and get to know other places and that I go and lead live and live streamed tours here in the city. Hi, Lizzie. Thanks for coming back. Are there anyone, like, are there, is there any person here who is new to Hego? Well, in case there aren't, so you, you know already how it works. Now, Hego had done many improvements and you have different buttons on your app that you can access. Oh, you're new. All right, Lizzie. All right. Welcome. Welcome to Hey Go. And I don't know if this is your first experience. You can let me know if you want. And my name is Kelly Tavares. I'm a, 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 a certificate. I'm a qualified tour guide in Rio de Janeiro, leading street art, cultural tours, black history, heritage tours in the city, and also entering in the virtual world to lead tours in Hey Go platform in a collaboration with other tour guides from all over the world and all over South America, such as Vanessa in Peru, Grace in Argentina, um, also Sayuri Koshima in Salvador, Tachi here in Rio de Janeiro as well. Nice, nice, first time, welcome. So one thing that is important to know, Liz, is many of us are actual tour guides in our city and uh, your one way to stimulate motivate our work here on hey go is that it's tip based that everyone can participate and uh, feel free to support and tap button where you can leave your tip leave your contribution and that helps us to do open more time slots and make more tours uh, and this is something that i'm going to show you today we are at Celeron Steps and we are starting the tour right now. But the tour won't be necessarily about the amazing masterpiece where I'm stepping and sitting down at right now. But it's about the suspended gardens that were built right here. And well, the weather today is a little bit cloudy, what makes it perfect because it's about almost 1 p.m. It's hot more than 32 centigrades, and thanks to the clouds, I'm being able to have a more chilled wind coming through the steps, and I will be up. But anyways, the sun is coming in and up and, and out, so I'm going to put my head, give you some tips. Oh, that's a good question, Lizzie. This is amazing. Uh, well, what happens is the tip is uh, it's not mandatory, but it's really appreciated by us ourselves since it's a project that we run from a, a now short term and one we want to make like a longer term. So if you consider like the number of people participating and you can have a minimum tipping of $2, 
But if there are like five tips, uh, four people in the room, and each person tips around seven dollars, then at least it's gonna be worth my time of being here outside of my house and sharing a little bit of our our place here. So it's a small contribution from your part that makes a big difference for my part. So very good question, okay? Uh, all right. So here, the salad on steps. Today we will hear about, I wish you would get a larger percent of the tip. Yes, true, Gail. Well, uh, I, I agree. And I think that if people, if many people are like conscious and contribute as well, I think everybody uh, gains. So this is the way we have to work, especially when the, the lower season comes up. And if everybody like has uh, is aware and has the consciousness of supporting with a tiny bit, then it's gonna be good for everyone. Okay. And uh, one thing that is really important when we talk about tropical gardens is to see. I will be sharing with you some native plants from native gardens of Brazil, and talk about how the importance and contribution to the ecosystem. But since this is an urban garden, the one I'm share. There are a few uh, species which are exotic as well. I'm a tour guide here who leads cultural tours, black history tours, but also uh, tours in the botanical gardens because I've started, I have a background in arts management and uh, art education, but also uh, I, as I started as a tour guide in the National Museum of Rio de Janeiro and in the botanical garden of Rio. So my idea is to run a tour in the botanical garden of Rio and in other gardens as well. So this will depend on all how this tiny bit that I'm offering you will go. So uh, I will consider on doing a longer tour of 45 minutes, minutes focusing only on landscape art and gardening, telling you mixing uh, like art, culture, history, botanics, like I, either the aesthetics, the conceptuals, the scientific and also the, the spiritual side of nature, okay? I try to say it in a more holistic way, the way I lead the experiences here in Rio de Janeiro. So thanks for being here with me. Uh, I'm uh, Kelly Tavares and I'm a tour guide at Rio Encantos. Our, feel free to type it there if you want to help me to spell it. It's R-I-O Rio. E N C A N T O S, Encantos, or the Wonders of the Marvelous City, the Wonders of Rio, Rio Encantos. And you'll find me on all social media, such as the main one, Instagram. Hi, Satian, welcome back. The, on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Airbnb, and so on. Thanks for coming and joining. Today, we'll talk about urban gardens in the historic part of the city. I live an hour around here, just about 10 minutes from, uh, from where I am. But if I walk, it's going to take 30 minutes walk uh, all the way back. And it's the Bohemian neighborhood where nightclubs, bars, restaurants, and urban, first urban gardens were also set. Today, I will show you one of the most visited attractions. And we are at the Saladon Steps. I'm going to give you... A, tiny bit of that and then I will talk a little bit of history and then go back to walking around okay all right so I already put my hat so when it's summertime in Rio I recommend you use sunblock your hats to go to the beach to come walk in the walking tours wear comfortable shoes and now a mask it's not mandatory outside on the streets just in indoor spaces, of course, either than restaurants. And I recommend you wear your mask if you are in crowded places, okay? Hi, Lillian. Hi, Cynthia. Thanks for joining. And here I'm wearing a mask that is curious and it's related to the site where I'm going to tour with you today. It's this site here and it's written, where is the cable car in the neighborhood of Santa Teresa? There is an art district just walking 15 minutes up the steps where I am. 
and you get to like the Montmartre of Rio de Janeiro or the art district of Rio. And there, to get there, you can either come through the steps, such as the Celeron steps, or get a cable car in the historic center, just 15 minutes walking down here. So they have this cable car and they are asking for the government, local government, to establish a longer route with the cable, cable car for the residents. And I can leave tours for you in Santa Teresa. Also, Tachi Araujo does that here to show you more of the neighborhood. So in case you want to support my work and want me to lead tours there in Santa Teresa, please uh, motivate me contributing with your tipping today because then it will encourage me to develop tours in botanical gardens, city centers, street art tours, and in Santa Teresa as well, okay? Hi, Gabby. Thanks for joining. Hi, Kelly. First time in your tour. Thank you so much. And I have heard a lot about you. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love to partner with my friends and colleagues here in South America and also Sayuri and Tachi here in Brazil. Now, let's switch the camera and see a little bit of the surroundings before we go to the gardens. All right, as you see, people are here taking lots of pictures at this amazing touristic spot. How many of you have heard of the Celeron Steps in Rio de Janeiro? Look how many visitors. Oh, nice Satan, that's amazing. So you see, this is a masterpiece of Chilean artist Celeron. And today our tour won't be about street art, but the landscape art in the street art that Celeron was able to build up. Now, one curiosity for you who are from the U.S. that can resonate and you who resonate with me and want to know a little bit more about my history is that these works, this work of art, this mosaic of tiles that I can later share the story with you if you have questions or in another tour, they have tiles from all over the world as a contribution of this collaborative work of art. There is one tile here that really resonates to my own background and history. Now, I want to see from those of you who had especially taken a tour with me or who were here at the beginning when I was talking about my background, which of these tiles resonate with my own history and background? Hi, Gail. Thanks for joining again. So I think it's an, uh, you will have done another tour with you, with me. Yes, thanks, Gail and Satan. Oregon, this representing a mountain in Oregon. I lived in Oregon and I studied at the University of Oregon. So I was very happy when I came back to Rio and working, developing my profession as a tour guide and found this tile here. So now, when I receive Oregonians, I always take them, bring them to the steps in the walking tours. And I share that Oregon, that Oregon tile with them. They get really, really happy about that. Now, we, are, we will run this tour for about 10 minutes. As I said, it's just a taste of what we can go along in a longer tour with you. If you, uh, if you uh, stimulate me to keep going, supporting my work. So this is one of the most visited attractions in the city. And it's surrounded by trees and history, such as this old house of the 1800s architecture that you see here on the right, and which has many stories and history on the surroundings. So you see a lot of the, the housings and residents, which are also from the 20th century and 1800s. And this is a place where just about 20 years ago it was just a set of steps without anything just raw steps in a place where it wasn't really a, a used just it was used by residents of these houses and residents of santa teresa so if you look up hi deborah thanks for coming back so if you look up and go walking all the way upstairs you get you see a brazilian flag there at the end and there, going right, it takes you to the art district of Santa Teresa neighborhood, where we can lead um, tours. So in case you support my work today and you tip me, just say, uh, go to, to my uh, 
inbox on Rio Encanto's Instagram or Facebook and send me a message saying, hey, Kelly, would you please do that tour in Santa Teresa or do that tour in the gardens underneath in the city center or other street art tours or the Cellar on Steps tour? And I will be happy to do that, okay? Make your, your contributions and your requests, please. Now look how nice these historic houses are uh, with balconies and so on. Hi, Fairly. Hi, Star. Thanks for joining. Now, do you guess which trees are these trees on the surroundings here, topping ourselves? This is a tour about tropical gardens. And what you see on the other side is an actual backyard of this historic house. Mango trees. Hi, Lilia. Thank you so much for your contribution. These are mango trees. Lilian, how do you know that? Are you from a tropical country? The mango trees, where are they originally from? Something like that. Do you have an idea? Ah, okay. Now, why India? Yes, Satan. Now, how they how come they come? They were brought to Brazil. These are centennial trees, and this is a story that I can share more with you when I go to the botanical garden. I talk about the history of the trees transplanted abroad to build up the Tijuca Forest Forestation Project, and also the. Uh, when I talk about all the plants and trees that were brought to the reforestation projects of the Tijuca Forest and to be acclimatized in the botanical garden, to be planted around South America, especially in Brazil, and then I share a lot about these other plants. Now here, uh, it's not a tour about street art only, but it's a tour about landscape art today. Chilean artist Celeron is represented in different tiles here. And he himself, since 1990, started to, to build up his masterpiece. Now, look how successful he was. When he lived here, I was, I had, I was fortunate enough as a resident to come and talk to him while he was alive. Oops, I'm having connection problems here as I see. So I'm gonna change place so you uh, we can try to have a better connection. So please let me know if this is pixelating. I will move on. Keep moving on. I'm trying to come up and see uh, if I can get a better signal up here. Okay. Please let me know. And coming up here with the signal is getting worse, actually. So maybe I will go down then. Is this pixelating too much? Look a little bit of the garden there. So I will look, I'm searching for a better signal. If that's pixelating, I see it. Look. Oh, okay, thanks, thanks, Lilian. So you see down there, there is a church, a historic church of uh, Nossa Senhora, Our Lady of Lapo. And all around there, there is another urban garden. It was the first public garden of Rio de Janeiro, the uh, Passeio or the Promenade. Hi, Ben from Michigan. Thanks for joining. I'm Kelly Tavares, and I'm giving a tour here at the suspended gardens of the Celadon Steps. Now, I'm going to share with you one typical plant of a tropical garden from the tropics, all right? And this is very common plant in Brazil. Do you know which species are these? Or do you know what kind, from which family is this, is this plant? Hi, Joy, thanks for joining the, the landscape art and botanic gardens of tropical gardens in Brazil. It's a bromelia, yes, Lilian. Now, some curiosities about the bromelias are these. So they have very thick, very thick leaves. And this is very important to notice. This is a, a plant that usually grows in uh, natural areas close to the beaches or in the forests. They have a very uh, 
perfect system to capture and uh, how can I say, store the water. They have their own reservoirs. So the way they capture the water of the, of the rain is inside of these, let's say, cups in between their leaves. Look at that, how neat is this? So when the rain comes, it is captured right there. Can you see it? And uh, one, another thing that happens, and it's usually noticeable, very noticeable in the, in the forests, if you see there, there are spiders, like oh, spider webs. It's very thin, so maybe you won't be able to see the, the spiders and the spider webs because they are very delicate here. So, but these bromelias, they are very important for in the, our ecosystem in the tropical forests because they are plants that they can last and and be present in close to the beaches but also they can be an ecosystem themselves to house many smaller creatures such as insects such as toads and spiders who are there present in order to find if other insects will drop and fall inside of the spider webs to have their lunch and dinner you see so and one thing that is important to tell about thicker plants like the succulentas how we call them is that they usually they don't require a lot of water they developed as one of the oldest plants in the globe since like times of the dinosaurs in order to resist to weather conditions which are really rough like in the dry seasons, for example, in the beach parts where there are moments when the rain doesn't fall as much. So one thing about plants of thicker leaves is that you can't water them too much because they have a limit. They don't like too much water. So for those of you who are interested in gardens and want to learn that, I think it's an important fact that I'd like to share because then I help you to uh, to understand uh, how to take care of with the plants. I really love plants. In my own house, I have a garden in the patio and someone taking a tour with me thought they were arts on the wall and actually they were really big monsters and other plants. Now look at this, there is a butterfly that just flew around these plants here. Hello, Manuela. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Rob. How are you doing? Do you know which plant is this? Look at this beautiful flower. Can you recognize? What do you want to say, Lilian? So for those of you, they have a very good famous tea that is drank all over the world. Yes, Lilian. And this tree, do you know the hibiscus, which uh, its flowers are good to make a tea. And that's not only tasty, but I can give you also recipes of very good, tasty, healthy teas. And it's good for your health. Do I, does any of you guess which uh, medicine is the hibiscus tea good for? Usually, each plant has its magical scientific powers that gives us cure for many diseases or prevention to many harms in our health. And uh, I really love medical herbs. It's something that I practice every day in my life. And I'm, I'm a very healthy person with my life habits and what I eat and drink. I believe that we are and we live a better life if we take these habits into account. And, and I want to really make a tour a virtual tour where I will share some of the uh, herbs, uh, medical herbs properties for you to teach you how to prepare some teas with some of the plants that you can find in your own country. So do, uh, do you know what these hibiscus flowers are used by? Not only for their taste and co to color your tea and make them beautiful uh, red color, but they are also used to help people who are on a diet to lose weight. But as any other medicine, it's, um, 
the 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 teas and uh, medications they only make and uh, they only make uh, uh, the, the the how can I say they only will be successful and good if you have a combo of treatments and habits in your life that will help the medicine and uh, you achieve your goals and what you want to do and improve in your life, okay? Uh, so I really want to make a medical uh, herbs tour to get, teach you some things. And I'd like to see from your part who are interested, if you can contribute uh, and then with your contribution, send me a message on my social media, YouTube at Rio Encantos, or Facebook or Instagram. Ellie, I contributed with you. Please, uh, would you please do that tour in Santa Teresa or in the Celadon Steps, talking about the, the story of the Celadon Steps and more about those plants? Or would you make a tour? Uh, with the medical herbs, please. Uh, and I will be very happy to do that tailored, especially for you, okay? Now, as I see here, how many people are present in the room? Hi, Mirella. Thanks for joining. Hi, Christina. Thanks for joining as well. Is the sound and image good and all right? Nothing pixelating there? Nice. So there are about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow, I think there are about twenty people in this room. So I'm gonna make a, a call and a, and a request for you. If each of you here donates just two dollars. Uh, it's going to help me contribute to my work, to being here, coming outside of my house, and then offering you this knowledge. And then, then I can uh, schedule a longer tour for you as well to learn more ab about the topics that I'm sharing here, okay? Just $2. It helps me a lot to motivate my work. Now, we are getting to the end of this tour. We are about just uh, one minute to finish. And there was a better fly look so this is important and I when I talk about landscape art and architecture I don't know if you saw that it just flew away she is surrounding me is that when oh please feel, which one is your Instagram Kelly my Instagram is real and so much Lillian for asking oh thank you Joey it's summertime in Rio uh, look at these amazing, beautiful plants. And these, do you know from which family are these plants from? Look, they grow in the fences of the house. And there is a rose garden down here, a small one in this house. Now I'm going to get closer to this plant. And they are from the families. Thank you, Gail, so much for your support. They are from the families of the Cactaceae, the Cactaceae. And you know, all of these that I've been learning and sharing with you, this is part of researches, of life researches from a whole life that I've been like investing my time and my passion to be able to share with you art, culture, history, and also uh, ancestral knowledges of herbs, their spiritualities, their spiritual powers, and also ecosystems and botanics. Instagram, that's here you in Cannes. Thank you, Lillian, so much. Oh, please, guys, if you like, ladies and gentlemen, please follow me and uh, also follow other guys from South America and check other tours that we are doing this month. It's Black History Month and in the U.S. And we are really... Um, organizing to make different tours. Tomorrow, I will be leading a tour in the Little Africa region. I will be leading a few tours there to the Black History. And I invite you to please join me and come to my tours to acknowledge our Black History Month. Uh, switching the camera back, many people are coming down. That is the neighborhood of Santa Teresa. And this is the Celadon Steps. So I can give a whole tour just talking about the history of these steps. 
while instead of just say talking about its suspended gardens as, as I am doing today. Now look at how neat. Artist Celaron, who lived in Brazil for more than 50 years of his life, he really fell in love with Rio de Janeiro. And he wanted, I met him in person, and he said that he wanted to create a masterpiece that he would have been remembered from people of all over the world which would, who would come here and visit the, the masterpiece. So actually his focus was on the tiles that you see, on the mosaic, but he thought about the conception of a landscape art creating this suspended gardens of the Celadon steps. But now I want to notice, uh, if I show you the details, and this is the last sharing of this tour uh, for today. Hi, Carmen, thanks for joining. We are already finishing. But one thing that I want you to notice, when he built up this wall, this wall that, to make a garden where he could create a place to hold these species around, he's also generating smaller ecosystems for lives that will set up their, uh, their lives here in this ecosystem. So that's gonna be uh, spiders, butterflies, insects. And that's very important when we think about gardens in the urban settings, is to create uh, uh, planting species, which are species from uh, the country, like as you see palm trees, and also you see um, bromeliads, and one thing that I wanted to notice before you finish, hi, Marco, thanks for joining. The, long, the line here is long. People want to take pictures there at the Saladon steps. But now the question to finish is a quiz. If I show you the details of the suspended garden and I tell you that this was built up with the leftovers and the donations of people who were decorating their uh, their bathrooms, their toilets, so they got rid of the old tiles of the Art Deco uh, toilets and buildings, their buildings, then uh, he used one of these parts of a toilet to build up this actual suspended garden. Do you guess which object he used to make the suspended garden? Can you guess how creative he was? And he gave me a very good idea because in my own house, when I redecorated and I remodeled my toilet, my bathroom, I decided to do the same thing inspired by Celeron, this artist who came from Chile. Look at that. All of these uh, called the Swords of St. George, which is a patron saint in Rio. Uh, and I can tell more about that plant in another tour. Look at that. Where did he plant this garden? The suspended garden. You can, right, Lily? Thank you so much. Please, oh, Lily, we are getting to the end. Please share, share. Let us know. I, I guess it, I'm not. I am, and Celeron wasn't all, the only person who do that to make a garden in his house. A bathtub, yes. Neat. He was actually genius when he came up with that, okay? Now I'm finishing my tour. Thank you so much for all of you who has been present here with me. I hope the quality was good, even though sometimes it's showing me that it's a little bit weak, the internet signal. And thank you, Gail, for your contribution here today. Uh, if you don't have any other questions, I will, uh, I will finish my tour here. And I'm inviting you to follow me at Rio Encantos social media, different ones. And please make your, your contribution and your requests. Send me a message and say, Kelly, please give me that tour, street art tour in your city center. Show me another public garden, the botanical garden. Show me nightlife in the city center where you live. And I will be very happy to do it. But please contribute so I can find out more time slots to offer you more and more, okay? I will go with your questions, answering your questions, and answering your inquiries, and answering and responding to the way you give. I'm going to make these, like, both sides coming and going because I think it's the best way. Like, we value each other by listening our stories, spreading the word, 
following and actually helping us to pay our bills as well. Okay, and I'm very frank about that. I really don't mind. I think it's a real world that we have to handle and we need to teach each other how to better contribute each, with each other, okay? Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you. Please follow me. Nice. It was small, but done with love from the bottom of my heart. I hope you appreciated that, okay? As I appreciate your presence and contributions. Bye-bye.